Hey guys, this is Tia Matt Ruler back with another episode of Random Wonder Trades. And um these all are gonna are still gonna be five IV Beldums, maybe four. I don't think four though, but uh maybe six. But I just just too lazy to go uh I bribed quite a bit. I was too lazy to go get the IVs for all of them, but um Anyways, as I do this, we're sending out the first one. I do have a few things to say about this. First off, I do not put up the Random Wonder Trades episode until after I've already had the Wonder Cut battle. So I do them on the same day, I, or at least I try to. Um, I, I really do try to get a Wonder Cut battle up on, or Wonder Cut battle done on Wednesday, the same day I do the Wonder Trades. And this is Lewis from... United States, Indiana, and they said Oshawott, please. Kind of a weird way to spell Oshawott, but maybe they were just trying to get it to fit. I don't know. Um, and we get a Quagsire right off the bat. I am not going to complain about a Quagsire. I really like Quagsire, especially since uh, my Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. Um, I found a... I mean, it, it really grew on me. It kind of saved my Nuzlocke. At, I mean, especially in the beginning when I caught that Wooper, I was really happy. Um, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. The first episodes are kind of, are pretty bad compared to the rest, just because I started with a laptop and then got my new new computer partway into it. But um, anyways, and then the other thing, if you're going to comment on my videos and ask me for, instead of tw tweeting at me, and ask me to do a Wonder Cut battle, first thing, know that at least right now, when I'm not having very many comments, I'm going to go in the order that people have commented, if I can. Um, or whoever I can get in contact with that day. But I will get around to you eventually. I will get around to you. But also know that if you have it set that I can't, so that I can't reply, it's going to be very hard for me to get a hold of you. Especially if I don't know your Twitter or something like that. Um, and this is Uncle Kush from New York says let's battle but anyways yeah it's gonna be very hard for me to get a hold of you if you don't have it have if you don't have it so I can reply to you on YouTube um, and and or you don't leave your Twitter um, because I mean even if I already have you added I don't necessarily know everybody's Twitter compared to their YouTube and things like that and this is a new DS I did not transfer anything We've got a Scroopy there. That's okay. I did not transfer anything from my um, previous DS, 3DS. This is a brand new 3DS, brand new friend code, brand new everything on it. So I do not have anybody added. So you can't just comment and tell me I already have you added. You already have me added. Because I don't. This is a brand new 3DS. I cannot record with the other 3DS. So I cannot battle you on that 3DS and record it and put it on the channel. So I will not do a Wonder Cut battle with you for the channel. If you comment like that. I need to know your friend code and I need to know how to contact you. Like your Twitter or something like that. Um, and I guess I didn't get everything from uh, Luca or whatever, but... So they're from Brazil. I saw that. We get a Froki. Not too excited about the Froki unless it's got some good egg moves or something. Um, it could be decent if it has toxic spikes. That's a good first turn thing to do usually. But um, yeah, that, uh, th those were a couple things I really needed to get out there. Is that I mean I I just I can't I can't just I mean the, you're not gonna see my reply if I just comment on my video as a reply to you. And I can't if I can't reply to you and I don't know your Twitter, then how am I going to get a hold of you? Um, and, I mean, since this is a new 3DS, I mean, yeah, I, ha I have to battle on this 3DS for it to work because this is the one that has the capture card. So I will need to re-add people that I already had added. Um, and I guess also um, the other part was that I mean, I will get around to everybody. I only do it... Uh, this person says trading legendary. Uh, maybe I'll get a legendary. That'll be cool. Um, but I will get around to everybody eventually. But that... I mean, I only do one a week. I'm not going to do multiple a week. Just uh, And we get a hippopotas. That's not a legendary. But I'm not going to do, like, multiple per week. That's not how I do it. I do it one per week so I can get two videos for that week up. Um, that's just how I personally do it. Um, I mean, 
I kind of got, I mean, I originally watched uh, Razbowski have this whole idea and stuff, and I really liked it, and I mean, I'm not the only one who does it now, um, but I, I, I do show both the Random Wonder Trades and the Wonder Cup, and I do, I do both live. I don't, that's a bit different than Razbowski did. He didn't do his battles live. I do my battles live. Um, that's not necessarily going to mean that all the episodes are going to have the other person in the audio, in the commentary, because the reason I have, uh, whoops, I forgot to hit the yes button, um, but the reasons that they have been in all the ones so far is because they are good friends of mine who I already have added on Skype, who I talk to every day anyways. I mean, I might get some others to be able to do it who I've already talked to and stuff. Some may not feel comfortable, so I may just do it live with my, only my commentary. Um... But and then we get Jason from Louisiana. Nice to meet you too, Jason. Um, are you going to trade me something good? We haven't had so, very too great of trades. I mean, I guess a lot of them are unique. They're not very commonly seen. We get a Ghastly. That's not terrible. I like Ghastly. Um, we haven't gotten a Shiny yet, which is, I mean, we can't top last episodes. Uh, last The last uh, episode, unless we get a Shiny. But, uh, um... I'm not going to reveal what shiny it was if you haven't seen it yet, but we did get a shiny last episode, which was really, really cool. Um, but let's see here. Uh, we're going to trade out this last one, and then we're going to take a look at our team, see what we're going to trade out for the uh, wild card. Um, and I guess in case anybody wants to know, the rules I follow by is we do go by the wild card rule, which is... I mean, you've seen me do it before, but which is uh, if you have, I mean, after you've traded all six of your Pokemon, you can trade one of the Pokemon that you got. And then, but what you get from that trade, you have to keep, no matter if it's a dupe, no matter if it's a piece of shit, you have to keep the what what you get from the wild card trade, no matter what. And there's a Pikachu. That's okay. I'm not upset about the Pikachu. Pikachu's actually pretty good for Wonder Cups, especially with uh, static and stuff. But, uh, and the other rule I go by is I do go by the dupes. So, if you get a dupes, you can trade that out again. I mean, because I don't want to see a battle with five, with, like, five Frokies and, uh, Charmander. Or three, Ch three Charmanders and three Fletchlings or something like that. I really don't want to see that. Or maybe, like, four Eevees and two Frokies. I mean, because those are the most common ones, really, on Wonder Trade that I've seen anyway, anyways. And I really don't want to see a battle like that. I mean, I wouldn't want to watch that. So, dupe squaws, I, I, I do use that in this. I mean, I know that's usually a Nuzlocke rule, but I do use that in this. Um, but we're going to take a look at our team now here. We got Quagsire, level 30. It looks like it's right off the route. Water Absorb, that's nice, especially if they have a water Pokemon. I can switch into it while, uh, if I know they're going to use a water move, like if I have uh, the Hippotoss out. But it's got Careful. I don't know what the nat nature does. Uh, mud Shot, Slam, Mud Bomb, and Amnesia. So it's got, it does not have a water, um, it doesn't have a water stab move, but it does have two, uh, ground stab moves, and then it has slam, and then uh, amnesia up stats, like up special defense, I think, something like that. Um, Skrupi, or Peon Scora, that must be the German name for it. Sniper, that sniper's pretty good if you get a critical hit, do more damage. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not good with natures at all. Poison Fang, Venoshock, Hone Claws, and Toxic Spikes. That's really nice. The Toxic Spikes, and then Venoshock. Oh my god, that's really nice. Honestly, that's a good combination. Poison Fang's cool too, um, but that's a really good combination. Go over the Froakie here. It may be Protein, but it's only got Pound and Growl, so it's really not that great. In my opinion, anyways, Jolly does up speed, but it's still really not that great. Um, Hippopotas. Saint Lonely, Sandstream, get up the weather. That does damage to non-ground types. Uh, well, non-ground, steel, or rock. Um, and it has Tackle, Sand Attack, Bite, and Yawn. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. It's right off the route, obviously. Um, Ghastly, level 1. It's, that one's been bred. Sirius, Levitate. I don't know how good Sirius is. Um, I, don't, I mean, like I said, I'm bad with those. Obviously, it's got Levitate. Hypnosis, Lick, Dream Eater, and Water Pulse. That's really cool. The Hypnosis and Dream Eater combination. Awesome. And it's got Dark Pulse on top of that. And it's still got the Stab Lick. I probably wouldn't use... And that's a really good Ghastly, honestly. I love that Ghastly. I don't know how good the nature is, but... And then the Pikachu. Kind of expected. The 
Static and uh, Tail Whip, Thundershock. But Static comes in super handy and it's got that stab move. Um, so everything looks really good actually, except for that Froakie. I'm not liking that Froakie at all. It's obviously a bread Froakie. Even that bread Ghastly is looking really good. Everything was off the route except for the uh, Froakie and the Ghastly, which was kind of interesting. But we're going to go ahead and um, wild card our Froakie here and see what we get with that. Um, because, I mean, Pound and Growl, even if it has protein, I mean, that just makes it a normal type. And that's really not that great, to be honest. Um, I mean, not that there's really anything bad with normal types necessarily. There are some really good normal types out there, but... A normal type Froki would get wrecked by a lot of shit, honestly. Um, Yube from Canary Islands, that's kind of interesting. I haven't had anybody from Canary Islands before, I'm pretty sure. Um, especially not on the series, but uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever had somebody from the. And we get a Bulbasaur. Um, I know a, I know a couple people who would really like that. Shout out to uh, Mandy or Rainbow Chew, as you would know her on YouTube. Or at Rainbow Chew Mandy on Twitter. Um, she absolutely loves Bulbasaur. Um, pretty sure that's not a shiny. Uh, shiny Bulbasaur doesn't really look too much different. But um, we're going to go take a look at the... Actually, we're right by the box here. So we don't actually accidentally wonder trade something away. Um, but we're going to go take a look at the Bulbasaur here. And that's even worse. I guess at least it's adamant. So, adamant, I mean, it's not normal, I guess. I don't know, it's not stab anymore, but... So, we kind of... Shit on that, that was kind of shit. I mean, but that's what happens with the wild card. You, you take a risk to get something worse, or hope maybe get something better. Um, but adamant, overgrow, and tackle. Overgrow is obviously not going to do anything, because it doesn't have a grass-type move. Um, but, hey, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Um, that... I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for this uh, Skroopy, honestly. This Skroopy is going to be awesome with the Toxic Spikes and Venishock. First turn, Toxic Spikes, um, t twice, and then Venishock. Oh my god, that's going to be awesome. Um, I don't know how much... I mean, let me go check here real quick. I don't know what the difference is between... Poison Fang does 50 damage. Venishock does... I guess its special attack isn't really that high. But the move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned. So that means I lay down the Toxic Spikes and the move now does 130 damage instead of 65. Um, so And then it's Stab on top of that. So that means it would do 195 damage. Damn, dude! Seriously, whoa! Oh, no, no, not 195. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 195 damage. Damn. Like, seriously, damn. Um, that, that, that's nice. That's that's really nice. Um, and then Home Claws, that's a nice move, too. Dang. Yeah, I, I'm happy with this Skroopy. Not gonna lie. Um, and then if it's something that can't be poisoned, use Poison Fang. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with a large majority of my team. This is going to be an in interesting battle. Um, like I said, I don't know who I'm going to battle, but I'll know before this episode is up. I'll have the battle will already be done by the time this episode is up. So um, and when you request, it's not going to be the battle you see on the Random Wonder Trades episode. Just keep that in mind because I would have already battled someone. So um, I'm going to try to contact the first person who contacted me uh, who or who replied to one of my videos um, and see if they'll battle. And if they will, then that'll be really cool. So this, is, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you're a first-time viewer, please subscribe for more um, Pokemon content. And this is Team at Rulers signing out. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Peace.